car. There she is. I just got it home. Here is the first look at the Puma STS, the brand new bass cat boat. Just got it back here. I've got a lot of rigging to do, but we just uh, took this thing to Arkansas. Uh, Alex Watts and I, we went, uh, he works with Missile here. Uh, we went on a business trip, and at the end of the business trip, we stopped and got this bad boy. So let's just take a look at it. Picked it up, got the Ghost on the front. Uh, went back to the Ghost this year. Ultrex is good. Uh, Ultrex is good and Ghost very good. But back to the to the Ghost and then check it out. The colors, I went with the red on the interior. Um, and of course the nose is different color. And we went to this, this gray gel. I love this color. And then we did the little hot silver pins with the uh the black and red on the inside i call it black red flake because that's what it looks like on on a d-bomb this exact same color as our black red flake d-bombs so that's what i call it and we go back here and as you can see this this thing is just massively wide it's huge it's got the 18 inch wheels on there i love those guys very durable very strong and got the little swim ladder here in the back. Went with the double power poles, as always, eight footers. And there's Old Faithful back here, the big Mercury, 250, 24 pitch Fury three blade on there. Got the TH Marine Atlas jack plate. I don't have everything mounted yet, but this is the Hummingbird depth finder uh whatever the this transducer there uh we've got that the hummingbird on there i'm not so sure about this angle might have to uh, adjust that but i will sure do that in a subsequent video you know you know how that rolls but let's get up here and look in the back here i mean i have i literally just got it got it back there's some i don't even know what this is back here we've got the two 30 gallon they advertise 30 gallon tanks they're technically 32 you can never fill up the new gas tanks all the way look i don't even have any battery trays in there i'm gonna get all that rigged up i got a whole bunch of wires back there i got a john cruise box of oil um like three one gallon of oil it's got that in there uh let me see anything else on the outside we're gonna look at the uh, rest of the outside. We'll walk around it a little bit. And then we'll just show you the front up here. Look at all this space. I mean, you can see how wide this thing is up here. Look at the space up here to mount depth finders. I'm gonna have three depth finders up here. I'm gonna probably take the foot pedal here, take this little insert out, move that foot pedal back. Probably have one unit here, one unit here. And then they have another little spot right here mount another unit here i think i'm going to do that that's probably what i'm going to do and still have plenty of room uh when i get my mega 360 if i can ever find one those things are like hen's teeth right now they're almost impossible to find uh but I, I think i'll have plenty of room i don't even have to get too creative to mount everything up here i can mount it really solid really really pumped about that i think that's that's just really really cool um but let's get on up in the boat i'm gonna go on up in the boat here and uh we'll go through the rest of the rest of it uh and like i said this is this is naked man there's nothing i have done nothing to this thing so far we got plenty of room over there to mount whatever we need um power pole charge is going to be mounted in there that's for sure um so let's just start back here these back boxes they've got these new latches check these little bad boys out you push the button then you pull that up and that is just fancy as hell be honest with you it's just fancy sale uh and then got the power pole pumps right there very easy to get to these are very handy i put things in there that i don't mind getting wet um so that that works out nice neat little compartment uh the other side is the same way big box there put a lot of stuff in there and then you have to kind of put a little weight on it and then push that latch back down and it'll stay latched. I'm assuming this is the lock. I haven't even locked it. I don't even know. But we're just gonna keep going through the boat. Let's take a look in the live wells. 
Make sure there's not any five pounders in there yet. Nope. Oh yeah, we got the TH Marine oxygenators in there. Love those things. Love those things. Money, cash money. They add a lot of oxygen to the water. Uh, you can never have too much oxygen in the water. There's huge live wells. I like how they're triangular. Uh, the water just flops over uh, in there. You're familiar with Bass Cat. You understand how this works. Uh, I think it's the best live well in the industry. Without a doubt, keeps keeps your fish alive. They get they get uh, crazy in there because they get all charged up. But that's a that's a good thing. Crazy in a good way. Um, and here we're going to go to the seats. They've got under seat storage right there carpeted under seat storage um i think that's going to be key i usually keep my tools and so forth up under there it's usually what i do got a little uh, spot over here for your passenger rods put put some of them right in that hole there then they go back here across there so that they don't get pinched by the by the box in the back got a couple cup holders for your beverages um you know what i'm saying and we're just gonna come back around to the cooler and i love this you know in between the seat cooler it goes way under there look at that way under there it goes all the way to these seats so that's a huge cooler you can put a lot of stuff in there uh, i like that you can put a ton of waters in there you can put all your lunch your buddy's lunch and then you can pack an extra lunch, put that in there too, in case you run into somebody who doesn't have a lunch. But then if that's not enough, you got another whole step cooler right here that you could use. And you could either use that for a cooler, extra bags of ice. That's probably what I'll use it for. Uh, fishing up north or fishing deep water tournaments. I can throw an extra bag of ice in there. Pro probably get two bags of ice in there. It's going to be close. I might, I'm pretty sure I can get two bags of ice in there. Two extra bags of ice in that step cooler probably what's going to happen so if you go uh them fit them tournaments like if you know let's say at the classic i'm um, catching uh, fish at hartwell in 30 and 40 feet of water may not need the ice there but if it was in the summertime i would 100 percent put that ice in there so those fish would be good i don't know we'll see how warm it gets but i don't know may not be fishing that deep there but let's look at the console slide over here oh, before we get too far this is the reflex flooring we'll figure out how much i like it but it's pretty cool i like it. it's going to drain easy it's not going to get wet like carpet does but that's the one thing the carpet in the floor has a tendency to get wet and it stays wet forever because it's down lower doesn't get the breeze like the top deck does so uh you know we'll see we'll see how it works but this year on the dash i went with the two balls out mounts they're made in the USA, so they're right there. Uh, we'll have the hummingbird over here, have the low rants over there. I had it the opposite way last year, so it'll take me a little bit to get used to that. Um, but I, I like, I went with these once I saw them on this boat because they are, I mean, just as solid as you can get. And it's a very simple, small design. Uh, it's a minimalist, it's it don't have to mount anything up here. And then you have this gap in between the two 12 inch units. You have this gap right here. I can have my water pressure. And then my smart craft gauge, the Mercury smart craft gauge, I've got that right there. That's pretty much all the information I need. Um, you know, you got the PSI, um, a trim gauge over here, fuel gauge here, and that's the jack plate. And there's my power pole switch, A10 touch panel, love that guy. And look, see, I don't even have the battery hooked up yet because I don't have batteries in here yet. And then here's the, the master power live well empty. And then we got over here, this is the, the brand new for a bass cat. I know some other boats have had it. This is the plug. This is for the plug. When you have your plug in, plug out. Super fancy. I hope it consistently works. Uh, you got this deal for your phone. You can put your phone right in that thing somehow. Stays in there. Uh, I mean, everybody runs their phone, right? So we'll have that that there. I haven't even adjusted it. I think you can adjust that. Pull it out a little more. And then uh, that's it. We'll have the thumbnail um, windshield right there. That'll be pretty slick. And then, of course, this is adjustable. So you can see 
can adjust the steering wheel so if you're a big old tall boy you can adjust it like yonder and if you're a shorter guy or you like your steering wheel lower you can do that got the th marine hot foot right there ready to go i'll probably have to make that a little closer because i'm not six five but you can see that there we'll have that dialed in and then you can see this is how my view will be this is from my eyeballs and my, you know my 12 inch units will be about here so i have i have excellent vision over top of all that have that that windshield there it's gonna i like how this seat definitely sits up very high for a guy that's totally five eight this is this is great for me um so let's go on up here to the front check the rest of it out i mean look look how big this thing is it's massive it's massive we got two places to put pliers scissors whatnots and here we go i hope there's something not that you know that's not supposed to be in here got the little soft bottoms there i like that so your your stuff won't slide around i have no idea how i'm going to configure my boat to be honest with you uh this totally new new design i've been in i've been used to the era had a couple links and i don't know how this is going to work with my tackle but you've got two of these kind of boxes right here um, they go way up under there so i usually put clothes lighter stuff buzz baits um you know hooks and uh some of the lighter stuff way up in there you've got these little bins in here i may leave them in i may take them out i don't know i kind of like this is pretty good pretty good so you get four of those there you know four of those there so we'll see how that works and then you got your little net scabbard oh lord have mercy the seat is in the way but yeah this is for your net scabbard and much to it this is where your nut goes sliding down in there and then let's look at the rod boxes very big very big um there's my windshield right there and you know you got two four six eight nine holes there which means you can have nine nine rods in there you can have 10 11 12 13 14 plus you can have some under under there that are not in those so i would say you could easily fit 20 rods and reels in this one rod locker very easily without being crammed at all that's key the era had giant has giant rod lockers and i love that i love that portion and on this side we have a bunch of room as well and i had them not put anything on that side because i like to you know rig my boat myself it's easier to do i put the majority of my rods on that side i put probably another dozen on this side uh there's my depth finders now this is the 12 for the front that's the 12 that's already been mounted here and i usually put you know helmet and some other materials you know rain suits all that mama striker rain suit you put all that in there Man, this that, that lid is very strong. I like it a lot. The lid is strong. So this is gonna come together well. Can't wait to get this thing rigged. It's my first day to even play in this thing and look at it. So I'm I'm very excited to see what it's gonna see how it's gonna all go. But this up here, let me stand up here so you can see how big this is take that bad boy out now look at this i mean it is it is an eternity up here i'm gonna probably slide this back right here then i'll have all three of my graphs i'll probably have one here one here and then one there i'm guessing uh, but again plenty of room to put all that stuff up there and then i got to finish all the riggings for the for the ghost very handy I haven't mounted my my rod straps either. I tell them not to mount mine. I like to mount mine myself. Uh, usually Bass Cat will put them up here. But I'm going to put mine out here. Usually I mount mine on the rod locker lid. So when I open my rod locker, I can see, you know, I don't throw my rods overboard or they don't get all pinched up. That's why I like that like that. Um, so we'll see, man. This is uh, this boat. 
is really, really awesome. Uh, this is just the first look at it, and hopefully we can get it uh, rigged up here before before too long. I've got a whole pile here. I'll show you a little bit. I'll show you the pile of of things that I'm going to be rigging on here. It's going to get uh, it's going to get ridiculous. Sorry, it's a little dark over here, uh, but I've got my my two lithium. You got a 36 volt battery, the Mondo and the Mondo 12 volt. Uh, I mean, these things are beast. So that's right. Two batteries, two batteries for that whole boat, five graphs. That's all you need. That's all you need. Lithium pros. Very cool. Uh, got Garmin here, two helix units yonder way. I think that's a live scope. Uh, what the, what the, who the, how the, I think that's TH Marine stuff. Yep. That's more TH Marine stuff. That's my battery trays. Uh, there's my fire, if I already bought my fire extinguisher. I already bought my fire extinguisher, even though I got one already. Got my Bass Cat throw cushion. Uh, so, so I'm pretty ready to go. I know there's a couple things I need to order. I need to order a few, uh, Russell Marine products. I need to get my light that's going to go on the top of my, uh, power pole get that from russell marine products so a couple couple pieces i need to to snag before i finish um you know rigging everything but i'm gonna get started today try to keep you guys updated but um this is the new puma sts super wide super wide body sts soft touch series soft touch series that's what it means uh, i've heard a lot of good things about the ride on this boat uh, as in amazing, as in unbelievable, as in great, still runs from what I'm being told in the uh, low to mid seventies, depending on your load. That is great for a 2,100 pound boat. It is uh, 20 feet, nine inches long, and it is 96 inches wide, very wide boat. So uh, stay tuned for more videos on this things. If you want to see any other videos, uh, specifically on, on this boat, uh, I will definitely, I'm going to do my best to to kind of document all the rigging, how that's gonna go, where I'm mounting what, why, and what I'm putting in this boat and how I'm gonna mount all this stuff up here, especially. I'm gonna do the rigging on all that. But if there's anything additional that you wanna see, please hit me up down there in the comments and let me know what you would like to see. So I appreciate everybody watching and be sure to uh, stay tuned for more on this. This is just the first look for the new Puma STS.